mine Four unmanned, followed lines On my hands, tasted earth Touch the skies from the pool Hello everyone, today I'll be doing something a little different and exciting. I'll be giving you a creative breakdown of my latest single, Wanderer. So first of all, I made a trip to Morocco, the city of Meknes, about a year ago. And I was there for about a month. And the purpose of the visit was essentially to create content for my upcoming album, 2019 album. I booked a suite for about three weeks and I was surrounded by exceptional poets, musicians, artists. And what we did was make music for about three weeks, day and night. Upon my return, I had about seven songs and I knew that wasn't enough. So I called my songwriter, my co-writer in England, Mr. Will Knox, and I invited him and um, we basically booked a suite and made music for 10 days. He said that the smartest thing to do, in his opinion, was to kind of put aside this album, which is a very kind of mystical, um, spiritual album with a lot of traditional elements incorporated, and focus on a new album, which is English, full English. And that's what we did. And that's the whole idea behind my new EP album, Sammy, of which Wanderer is also part of. So let's go to the demo, the initial demo of Wanderer. I worked on this for about an hour or two, what you're gonna hear now, and it was just a rough, I had something in my head like, I had this kind of thing in mind. And this was the chord structure, just the kind of basic structure of the song. Right? And then when I played this for Will, he said, well, we could use this. Because I, I felt the melody was strong and that we could do something with this for the Sammy album. So we changed it. And while producing it, I came up with this synth progression, um, which I feel is the essential element, you know, that defines the, the production of the song. It's e major. G sharp minor. And then to B7. And then from there, we came up with this beat. That's the verse. As soon as the synth started to play, everyone's head started to move like that. And I knew we had something. So I felt the chorus needs to shine, needed to shine. So I incorporated a filter effect in the second half of the verse to essentially let the chorus shine. And then go to the chorus. That synth, the synth is everything, you know? The synth is really important, this element. to the verse. Once I got that structure, that basic structure, the synth, um, it was very easy to kind of layer things on top. I would say after the synth, the most important element for me um, are the backing vocals and harmonies. You can create backing vocals easily these days through software, plugins. Some people use Melodyne. You can actually take your main vocal and create harmonies. I'm old fashioned in that sense. I do my own backing vocals and like four part harmony. And for each line, I do seven, eight tracks, maybe more. 
So I'm going to play for you now the backing vocals. There are many backing vocal parts. I've got backing vocals for oohs, for like the melodic sections, the chorus, um, and of course the outro, which I'll go through one by one. This is the oo section in the second part of the verse and leading into the chorus. It's a bit low. It's in a filter. It's opening up. Chorus. Without the synth. So aside from vocals, I haven't really incorporated any live element. Most of the instruments are virtual instruments. I've played them on, on the synthesizer, but nothing is really live. We don't have a guitar, live guitar, live string, or anything like that, just because the song didn't need it. I'm gonna go to the outro, because the outro is quite interesting. There's a lot of things happening. Um, the outro. Me. Harmony one kicks in. Burning me. Line two. Leading me the main vocal. Into Three part harmony and the main vocal. Calling me, burning me, leading me into so you got four part harmony here. And then you have that bit. You can call me worshipper. You can call me follower. Which is very, very important for me because it kind of lyrically and from a purely songwriting point of view keeps it together it's because the outro almost feels like a different song but that section kind of keeps it together it's like a thread you feel like you're listening to the same song okay this is wonderful so i want to play all the different harmonies here because i know that a lot of you would like to know you know how i do my harmonies my backing vocals I'm gonna play them first without my main vocal and then with the main vocal because it'll make more harmonic sense. Burning me, leading me into ecstasy. There's a fire calling me, burning me, leading me into with the ooze. ecstasy. There's a fire you can call me worshiping me. You can call me Father Mike. But I'm just a wanderer in search of my stuff. Now with my main vocal. You are like calling me the kind of burning night. But I'm just a wanderer in search of my stuff. You are like calling me. You can call me Father Mike. But I'm just a wanderer. This one is quite interesting. There's a fire calling me. There's one. And it's different each time. It's not a loop. Halfway through the outro, we introduce this new element, uh, which goes like round, 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 round. I don't know why I had this in my mind. I had this in my head because somehow I'm reminded of these whirling dervishes, you know, who are spinning. You know how they get in that state of ecstasy, you know, kind of divine ecstasy. That's what I had in mind. Round, 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 round. It's kind of like an ecstasy, a divine, ecstatic moment. Basically, the philosophy of the song, the idea behind the song, the chords are quite simple. The structure is very minimalistic and very simple. But what I'm trying to reinforce is a feeling. 
That is the objective. And that feeling is one of ecstasy, of divine ecstasy. Ecstasy is a very tricky word. It's, it's, some people think it's a drug. I mean, that's the first thing people think of. But ecstasy is actually a state that one can get into without the use of drugs. So this song is talking about divine ecstasy um, that can be achieved through, you know, an intense kind of moment that one experiences, a spiritual experience, um, very difficult to define um, and put into words. But this was my goal. That's why the ending of the song is kind of growing and growing and growing until it reaches this, this climax of bliss. And of course, that breath The breath is very interesting because the breath, for me at least, it represents spiritual longing and oneness, uh, if, if I could use that word. So there you have it. That's the breakdown of Wanderer. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed the single. Thanks for watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah.